Globe. It's been a long time, I know. It's been a long time since you came around, and it's been a long time, but I'm back in town. But you know what? You guys don't want to hear excuses. You want to see content. I get that. I do. So here I am throwing together a quick little video for you guys just to show you that I'm still alive and to hold you over while I work on some more planned out content that I have for the future. This is just a very spontaneous video. I honestly don't even know what kind of video this will be. I recently went to Ulta and by went to Ulta, I mean looked up Ulta.com in my phone and I ordered a bunch of stuff online charged it to my credit card without a second thought. Do I regret it? Only slightly, but it all came in the mail the other day. So I thought that I would do like a little testing out my new Ulta products type of video mixed with maybe a vlog kind of a vibe. I don't know. I just wanted to give you guys something to watch and hopefully entertain ya. Before I start my makeup, there is something that needs to be done. I think you guys might have a couple guesses, but let us go. Let us, and I cannot stress this enough, let's get it. Okay, I kind of look absolutely sickly in this lighting, so I don't think I'm gonna film in here. But if you're new here and you don't know what the heck I'm doing, I am shaving my eyebrows. If you are going to give shaving your eyebrows a go, I would recommend using like a soft, unscented, shaving cream or oil or something along those lines with an eyebrow razor or a razor that's intended for use on the face just because your skin up there is more sensitive. That's what I would recommend. I, however, use the same razor that I use on my legs and a can of men's $3 shaving cream. So I'll see you guys when I have no eyebrow tails. <laughs> okay, don't worry, my eyebrows are gone. If you couldn't tell by the flaming irritation on my skin. I'm going to dive right in with some of these new products. Oh yeah, thumbnail opportunity. Mm, yeah, one of those should do. I am going to start out this look. I don't even know what kind of look I'm doing. <coughs> I'm going to start out this look by moisturizing my lips because they're feeling pretty crusty and just a little bit dusty. I'm going to use this new lip mask that I got. It's the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Luscious Lip Mask. So we're going to apply a little bit of this. And if my lips are not luscious, oh baby, there's going to be hell to pay. I already did try this last night, but it comes with a little spatula. We're going to apply this. This is the first product we're testing out. Okay, we'll see. Any products that come with a tiny little spatula, I am already a fan of before I even try them. The smell is right away a 10 out of 10. It's like a watermelon scent. It's super light and nice, dare I say, fruity. However, the texture, I'm not so sold on that, at least not right now. But I guess we'll let that sit now and see if my lips get more luscious. Do my lips look luscious? I don't know. I guess leave a comment if you would kiss me. Next, I'm going to prime my skin. I am using a little bit of the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist. That should be enough. Okay, I think that I'm going to get started on my eyebrows because that's usually where I start. I got two new eyebrow products in my Ulta haul, as the gurus say. I picked up the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Defining Pencil. And then I also got the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen, which is kind of like a felt tip eyeliner looking thing. Actually, I'm gonna draw a little bit on my hand to see how this product works. It came out like really subtle, just like kind of these little thin natural looking lines, which is good, I guess, because you're supposed to use it to draw in your eyebrow hairs. And I'm gonna try to draw on my eyebrows with it right now. Because why not, honestly? What do I have to lose? The other half of my eyebrows? <laughs> I think I'll survive. This is a process and it's a scary one at that. <laughs> Okay, my eyebrows are looking positively wacky right now, but I'm hoping it'll all pull together because the normal way that I do my eyebrows is I throw on a ton of product. It looks super ridiculous, 
but then I go back and like shape it out with concealer and then it looks okay. I think maybe depending on the day. One of my favorite beauty quick pro tips for all my ladies out there. If you ever have a couple stray eyebrow hairs that are just not going well with your eyebrow shape of the day, just go right ahead and pluck them out of your face. Ah, oh, we'll never have that problem again. Am I right? Oh, here comes Santa Claus. That mother freaking hurt. Okay, now I'm done with my eyebrows. I know I do my eyebrows pretty crazy, but that's the way I like them. And I also like them to be like as pointy and high up as possible so that I have more room for eyeshadow because I'm an eyeshadow gal for sure. All right, rather than going in with eyes, I'm gonna switch it up and do my base today just because a lot of the new products I got are like face products. I picked up two things for highlighting and contouring because one of my biggest makeup goals right now is to get good at contouring. I've never been good at it, but there's hope for everyone, right? Right? The LA Girl Pro Conceal HD concealers, I guess. I got two different shades, one for highlighting and one for contouring. The highlight shade that I got is called Fairest. Big surprise, it's the whitest shade in the collection. And the shade that I got for contouring is called Toast. You know what? Enough beating around the bush, let's just go straight in and try it, why don't we? I mean, you guys did come here for the content after all. I'm gonna put this every place that I want to be highlighted. Right off the bat, I have concerns. Hi. Oh, that's way too much. Go back in the bottle, please. Ah, uh, here goes nothing. This is fun with this little brush. I feel like I'm face painting. I mean, I guess I kind of am. Okay, you guys, I never, <laughs> and I mean never, contour my nose. So we are just going in for it today. We're gonna see what happens. Now that I have my contour and highlight applied, I'm gonna blend this all in and hopefully I don't look ridiculous. Okay, so my face is looking so orangey and splotchy. It looks like a bottle of fake tan exploded on me. My face has never looked so uneven. We're gonna put on foundation and hope that that fixes everything. I don't see why it wouldn't. The product itself, however, is blending in so, so easily and nicely. And I think that it looking like crap right now is more of a me problem than a problem with the product itself. The next time I attempt to contour, I will definitely go in with much less product, but we are now going to do an even coat of my tried and true CoverGirl Stay Luminous foundation all over my face, and then we'll see how the heck I'm looking. Okay, I think the foundation did save it a little bit, but we're going to set it now. I got a contour palette from Morphe. This is what she looks like. It has some really, really pretty shades going on. The top is all bronzers, and then there's two like shimmery highlights and two blush colors. There's also a matte like eye brightener, so I'm gonna use that to set my under eyes right now as I drop the entire palette. Okay, this brightener is pretty cute. And I'm gonna use my go-to Cody Airspun powder to set the rest of my face. Cool, we're gonna let that sit for a quick second and then wipe it off and see if I'm beautiful yet. Guys, I'm sorry this video has been so bad. Like, I'm genuinely sorry it's been so bad. I used way too much contour and it was all downhill from there, but I think I'm saving it. I think I'm saving it. I keep on saying that I think I'm saving it, but am I really saving it? At the end of the day, it's all about the blend, am I right? It's like it doesn't even matter if I used a disastrous amount of product because I'll just blend it out, right? Okay, I could be bugging, but I feel like my skin looks kind of snatched up close right now. Emphasis on I could be bugging. Okay, my face makeup is done. It could have came out way worse. It also could have came out way better. I was hoping it would come out way better, but we're moving on to the next step regardless. The next product I got that I'm going to try out is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's like an eye crayon, so you can use it as a liner or a shadow, I guess. I got it in black, white, and green, but we're gonna go right in with the green one to match the flannel today, why not? Okay, so this is honestly a lot lighter of a shade than I was thinking it would be, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna blend this all over both of my lids. It's also really, really waxy and almost like a sticky consistency, so I feel like it will be good to layer eyeshadows on top of. Like the pigments will stick really well to it, I think. 
we'll see. To be honest, I wouldn't wear this by itself as eyeshadow, but that's just me. I think it's a little bit too subtle and it's also kind of difficult to apply it evenly. Like every time I try to blend it, it gets a little bit patchy. These are just my thoughts. These are just my thoughts, okay? Okay, I applied it to my other eyelid. And again, I would not use this by itself, but I feel like it provides a really good base for some more eyeshadow. So let's grab some more eyeshadow. I have the perfect color here somewhere. I'm going to go in with this bright green from the Juvia's Place. What palette is this? The Masquerade palette. Um, I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow brush, buff this out, BRB. Yeah, the pigment in this eyeshadow is insane right now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to my lower lash line. So I blended the eyeshadow under my eyes and I just realized that I have to leave to get Ro from work in like five minutes. <laughs> I did not plan this very well timing wise. So I'm just gonna move really, really fast through the last couple of steps of my makeup. I did get a new mascara, so I'm gonna try that out right now. I got the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara, which I've heard nothing but amazing things about, but I've never tried it myself. Let's try this mascara and see what all the hype is about. It is a pretty cool shaped wand. Um, I don't know, you guys. I guess it's looking pretty cute, but I feel like it's not really lifting my lashes as much as my favorite go-to mascara, which is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I don't know where it is right now, but you know, I'm not going to hate on her just yet. No, no. I don't know. I think I might hate it, actually. I feel like it's making my eyelashes look somehow shorter and clumpier. I feel like this look would be a lot better with a lash. So let's do a lash. At this point, I'm running ridiculously late to pick up Ro, but what am I supposed to do? Leave the house without a lip color? Lipstick is on. I'm feeling like a new woman. Now, do I have time for highlight? No. Am I doing it? Yes. Here's the makeup in a little bit of a better lighting. Um, I think the eyes came out pretty cool. My eyelash glue is still not fully dried. I'm in a bit of a rush if you couldn't tell. This was the way that my makeup ended up coming out, you guys. And now I have to go get my girlfriend and get some stuff done. Thank you guys so much for watching this mess of a video. I honestly have no idea how this is gonna turn out. This was honestly a super spontaneous and rushed video. So if it seems like that, that's because it is. I do have a lot more stuff coming for you guys super soon. I just wanted to post something really bad. And I also wanted to test out some of my new products. So kill two birds as the old saying goes. If you guys want to see my upcoming content or if you just feel bad for me because this video was such a mess, definitely make sure you subscribe so that you do not miss an upload. Thank you guys for sticking around and putting up with me. Till next time. Hasta la vista.